Isn't this magical? All right, to further ado, we're in the store. This seems newish. It runs 6642. Sheesh. That is so cute. It's 35. I like that a lot. And furthermore. I think I've had these. This seems to be a reboot. We'll have out the winter stuff, even though it's 90. This looks pretty sketchy. It costs Chinese money. All right, we're gonna do this before it goes away. Only to come back three days later after refurb. Well, it's going to translate into this in the low light, but there's lots of flexi here at the bug show now. There's some. I haven't been there in a while. Do you know how I know this train is always on time? Because it's always on the dot. Right, so you still can't sit in the front seat or front row on the train, but you can sit more people on the train thanks to the magic of Flexi. <laughs> Who's your favorite cow? Hey, sweetie. Hello. Hello. Miss Gabby. We know Gabby. Yep. There's some history there. <laughs> There's a Komodo dragon. Somewhere. Oh, I see him. Oh, he's big. Oh, he is big. Oh, he is a big one. Do you see him, Neve? Do you see him, Neve? But is it the last one? All right, synergy inspection. We're going to see if Dr. Bob's in there. Before it gets away, Jamie noticed that this train doesn't have any plexi on it. Thought they were running too, but this proves it. Hi, we couldn't find a seat in the shade, so we're going to sit in the sun. I got the honey sesame chicken. Oh, the baked chicken. If I, if I don't eat it soon, yeah. I'm having the baked fried rice and the baked pie. So we went to um, the Yak and Yeti counter service, which is what Ethan wanted, because he wanted that dumb little pie. It had, so nothing, to, it had nothing to do with the food. You got a side of rice. Okay, I'll film the cuteness. Welcome back to Animal Planet. So wait, is that the last one? How many are there? That was about the size of Ethan's head. Wow. Now that's a tiny 
Let me say that with a little bit and then you can come over here to see my face if you want. Okay. Any less camera friendly, buddy? Greg, what are the names of those uh, big uh, birds? The big birds, the, the really tall ones? Big, big, big. And it's not a sandhill crane, it's just uh, doing a sandhill impression. Oh, she's got it, okay. And then there's a yeah coming up on us there. So, so an ibis is, that long beach, yeah, they do, they dig down into the dirt and then find yeah, bugs that way. Also, one of the things they did. It's easier to get a French fry than it is to get a bug, right? Natalie had a traumatic experience in an F-Pot where she was attacked by a number of them. Oh my goodness. So, you know what? It is actually a perfect lesson because what happens is guests come in from all around the world. Oh, right? you want to know what's this behind this? Oh, uh, babies. So those birds got used to the babies. So they're really aggressive. It's baby, whatever it is. So while we're hanging out at the water buffalo zone or whatever that thing is, um, one of the cast members was telling a story about how he was living in Alaska and a grizzly bear destroyed his house uh, when he and his roommates were out working. They were trying to ward it off, and I didn't catch what he said that he was that they tried to do to ward it off. But I heard it didn't the entire work. story. You so want to just wait? Well, anyway, the, the point anything. being <laughs> that the the bear tore the door off his house and trashed it. And he's like, you know, and someone said, "Oh, that's probably why you moved to a warmer climate to get away from all that." And I'm thinking, coming home to find out your uh, uh, house was trashed by a bear, well, that sounds like a Kodiak moment. Even figure out where all the birds hide from people.
We're going to do a little detour. Uh, Ethan's never seen the town of Celebration, so we're going to take him over there. So we had we start following the map, and straight ahead of us is a motel that we stayed at. We'll have to tell you the story. We'll have to tell you the story of the trip. Yeah. But we spent, uh, I think, a night at Saralago, and our review was well, we weren't stabbed. little houses in celebration. Oh, that one's not little. Where are all the children? Some apartments. Church. This looks like Winter Park. How did all this get here? I don't know. Just pay attention. And I love all the little golf carts. They have little, they're called NEVs, hmm. neighborhood electric vehicles. Okay, that's a little one. And he's about, I don't know, 50 feet from me. Now we need to go way out toward the end where the water is. That's the sky. Oh, no, that's the water. Okay. All right, right on the edge. Right there. As close as I can get. That is a big gator. That is about three hundred feet from me, give or take. So we are at Lake Jessup. Ethan's walking around the pier making it all bumpy. Let's see if we can find this baby again. Okay, baby mint. Would you stop walking around? How about this? No!